PVM makes your wife want to leave you. Kate, 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 come look. I just hit 452 kill count at the Tombs of a Masker. I don't care. The game's boring and I'm leaving you. And skilling? Skilling makes your kids think you're fucking boring. No, 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 no. Look, look, I'll explain it again. If you click the herb and then the tar and then the fishing spot, all within 1.8 seconds, then you can increase your XP per hour by upwards of 60%. Daddy, this is rubbish. But getting pets? Pets feel like this. No fucking way! No fucking way! We just got the fuck- <laughs> This is One Pet at a Time, the Extreme Edition. So we are starting this episode off with a desire to get ourselves a magic short bow. Now the main problem is we're only 76 fletching and unlike most other boosts, a fletching boost is actually really hard to get because you need to have a dragon fruit pie which is actually a really hard item to get. Um, so what we're going to have to do is the evil Dave uh, quest uh, in part of recipe for disaster. Um, to get ourselves access to the stews so that we can uh, so that we can get our boost to 80 fletching and make ourselves a magic short bow. Alright and here is our stew for the least evil man in the world. Uh, I think we just got 7,000 cooking XP. Yeah, uh, but we do get access to more of the gloves in the chest so I can finally get my steel gloves. Uh, but right, time to go get a fletching boost. Oh, we got it! We got it! 81! 81! Okay, okay, let's go. Make the magic short bow. Make a few. Because uh, I want to imbue one and then have a couple left over. Um, but there we go. Now the proud owner of a magic short bow. Okay, here we are, handing in at Temple of the Ikov, um, which I couldn't actually use my magic short bow for because I don't have the range level to use one. So I needed to make a U short bow anyway. Um, but that is finally every single requirement for Desert Treasure 1, which means we can go and get Ancients now. Exciting. Updates from uh, kind of the th three day weekend that I had. So I did a lot of Guardians of the Rift, both just mining and rune crafting. So I got uh, up to 60 mine, well, 60 and a bit mining, um, as well as 65 rune crafting. Um, 60 mining is pretty big because it's for Lunar Diplomacy, and I also didn't break the free-to-play rule, which seems to be quite contentious in the comments. I had a lot of people that were like, yeah, sure, go do free-to-play, who cares? Um, and a lot of people that were saying, no, doing free-to-play is not very extreme. Um, and I kind of see both, so we've at least delayed uh, making that decision for a little while by getting that at Guardians of the Rift. Um, but yeah, let, let me know what you think down below. Can I train in free-to-play? The only thing I would need to train in free-to-play to be fast is mining at Iron Ore. It's about five times faster than mining at Guardians of the Rift. I technically cannot roll the pet, which is technically our only rule. There's no rule that says, you know, you're locked to one skill. You're just locked to one pet. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think about that um, and why. Uh, but yeah, we, we delayed that for a little while because we don't need to do uh, some of the elves right at this second. So we don't need 70 yet, we only need 60. Um, but yeah, I'm flying through the runecrafting, it's quite nice. I've got about 200, um, 200 what are they called, reward permits or whatever. Um, I'm, my plan is to try and stack 4,000 of each so that when at some point I finish a pet, I can just go and knock out the Abyssal Protector in one go, hopefully. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely, uh, definitely a fun activity to do on mobile. Um, and aside from that, have we made much progress over the weekend? Um, we got up to 81 farming, which is level 4 um, Snapdragons. Uh, Hunter level is getting pretty close as well. Um, oh, we got uh, 61 crafting. I don't think I had that in the last clip. Um, or if I did, I don't think I spoke about it. Um, but yeah, 61 crafting is level for Lunar Diplomacy as well. So I think all we need for Lunar Diplomacy now is the 65 magic. Um, so yeah, quite a lot of progress. Uh, quite a lot of important progress with the mining. Uh, slow progress in the mining. Oh my god, it was about, I don't know, it was about 15 hours of just mining over the weekend. Um, but yeah. <sighs> 
for the long weekend. But we're here. To, we're here to do some real strong on camera progress now. Right, another fairly big moment for the account. We are about to start Desert Treasure, which means we can actually do Slayer kind of semi properly from now on because we'll be able to um, burst um, a lot of the tasks. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be gonna be good. I'm excited to get this one done. Uh, this and Lunar Diplomacy are probably my sort of biggest goals at the moment. Get the spell books unlocked. Um, and it just sort of makes the game feel a bit more proper, I guess. Hey, you. You there. Yes, you. The guy who's about to click off the video to go and watch Riley Reed getting jackhammered. Do you want to help a guy convince his wife? That spending all of his time playing RuneScape is a worthwhile investment of his time. Well, then I've got just the opportunity for you. <laughs> You've no idea how many times I had to record that. American accents are not my forte. Um, but no, I have actually released channel memberships this month. They come with various benefits for the various tiers. I'm not really expecting anyone to uh, subscribe for a membership. Um, to the channel, but there are benefits. Um, voting in polls to discard uh, to decide the next pet um, is probably one of the main ones because I'll just be doing what you guys say. I'll obviously be categorising it, so we're not going to be going for the Zuck pet next or anything like that. But um, you know, you will have influence over how this series progresses, as well as uh, you know, exclusive access to uh, early videos, totally exclusive videos as well, that kind of thing. Um, so if you do want to subscribe, it'd be really appreciated. And uh, my wife might be slightly less angry at me wasting all of my time on RuneScape. So uh, yeah, thanks uh, if you do. Um, and if you don't, don't worry about it. Enjoy the video. Every time I come here in the past, I get it first go. Um, and here, I've been failing this thing. I've failed this thing four times already. And getting lockpicks on this account is so bad because I can't just buy them from that guy because you need 50 agility for it come on oh my god what you didn't even get it after picking the first one come on this is mental it's like a one in seven to get it pickpocketing these guys over here but pickpocketing them is like a one in two or something oh my god this is I get this first time every single time and this time is the time it's going to take ages isn't it for fuck's sake all right, we got ten more lock picks. Surely we can get something. Surely we can open it with these. Come on, come on! I believe I'm a gambling man. No, we're not even getting close. I swear it's three, isn't it? I think it's three locks. I'm only ever getting none or or one. Oh my god, this is so bleak! Come on. I can't believe this. Go on. Oh my god, it is three. No, oh my god. Oh, what is the what is the fucking rate on that? I bet it's so bad. Okay, another ten lock picks. Can we get anything of use? Come on. Come on, I believe. I'm a foolish man who should not believe. Oh, when it just blows up instantly, that is so lame. Come on. Come on. Oh, <laughs> oh I don't want to spend my whole day here. Yes! Yes! Yeah, <laughs> how many was that? Uh, 28 failed lockpicks and I can't buy lockpicks. I had to thieve every single one of them. Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> I'm so happy that's done. This is a uh, nifty little trick you can do to uh, negate all damage in uh, the Deathless fight. It's just flick range and melee alternately and he'll just never attack you. Uh, so that's a little little tr trick for you if you need some help uh, on this one. I mean, it's not a hard on it anyway, but it's pretty nice to be able to do. Uh, do how do I get the blood diamond? Oh, I get it uh, from Malak or whatever he's called. Right, and that's the pyramid done. So it looks like we have finished Desert Treasure as soon as I speak to this guy. Um, I think that's the end. There it is, 20,007 XP. 
three quest points and access to ancient magic. So what can we do at the minute? We can do smoke burst, which looks expensive. I oh, know that's the one that we can use. So we basically use that, I think, until we get 70 magic and we use ice burst. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, onwards to lunar diplomacy, I guess. Okay, sorry if you can hear some workmen, but I believe this is 65 magic right there. Uh, and I can now wield a third age wand, which I'm sure I will get soon. Um, but that is the final requirement for lunar diplomacy, which is here. Experience long, tedious, uh, but there's all the requirements done so let's go and do that i'm hoping that there's not going to be any problems like i had with a uh, big chompy bird hunting right to chop a tree or whatever um but we'll only know once we get there okay this is the closest we get to um a pet role in this uh in this quest which is mining these uh mining these lunar ore however there is no pet roll from mining a lunar ore, which is good. Um, apparently I need three more of these ready for Fremenic Exiles at some point. So I'm going to grab those. Um, and yeah, the quest seems totally doable. And here we are at the end of the quest. Um, I don't even know what XP you get for this. 5,000 each, that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, main thing is now we have access to the lunar spell but the main spell we want is this one 77 for super glass make um so i'm gonna need to get 77 somehow i think realistically i'm only gonna be able to get that through slayer um so alongside the thieving grind we're gonna be starting slayer i guess oh no <laughs> oh god i don't even know how to fix this Oh, I teleported away while still on the Lunar Spellbook. <laughs> and I have no idea how I'm going to get back. Oh, I guess maybe the one of the fairy rings. Because I can't go to the house portal. Oh, that's so brutal. <laughs> oh, oh, that's fucking nice. That is fucking nice. I can just, uh, in fact, actually, wait. I can home teleport to Lunar. I forgot about that. Oh, that was a lucky escape. 71 thieving completed. If you would like to uh, book me in for an impressionist's evening, uh, my rate is about £400 uh, for an hour. So, uh, yeah, let me know. <laughs> okay, small revelation as well. Um, so, to do cap, so to get a uh, black mask and essentially get Slayer going properly you need to do cabin fever and to do cabin fever you need to do rum deal and to do rum deal you need to do zoga flesh eaters which means you have to do big chompy bird hunting which means you have to have the beaver pet unlocked so this is yet another reason why i need to do wood cutting uh before getting really deep into this account um, but yeah, another interesting one. So this and Song of the Elves, I need to have done Big Chompy Bird Hunting for. It's amazing how much of the game is locked behind Big Chompy Bird Hunting. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Right, we ran out of um, energy potions at 21,000 rolls against our 35,000. That's the pet rate um, for the thieving pet. Um, so we're just making some more. So I've got about 300 energy potions I'm making and 150 super energy potions that I'm making. Um, and hopefully that will be enough to get us the pet. Probably not, but I've got a lot more energy potions in Harrowland the Seed, so we should be good. So I thought I would just use some super attack potions to uh, cover this one off. But 60 herb lore. Quite a big master. We need 70 for Sung the Elves eventually, but we're, we're, we're cracking on with that so quickly that I'm not particularly worried about getting that by the time we're ready for Sung of the Elves, to be honest. Um, really want to get stamina potions as quick as I can because it's just an absolute pain in the ass not having those. But obviously, that will also require us to start agility. So, oh, so many things, so many decisions to make, I guess, on what order we're going to do things in. 77, 72 thieving, there we are. 
certain chests. Who cares? Right, let's keep it going. We're at over 21,000 rolls, coming up on 22,000. I'm hoping we can get this before 35,000. So, thought I'd take this time while I'm just thieving, quite, uh, you know, it's quite relaxed, to um, theorycraft a bit about what I want to do. So, one of the main issues I'm going to have on this account in terms of DPS overall um, is going to be the fact that I'm not going to be able to have um, rigor, uh, probably ever, um, because... The omelette pet is just way too much to go for, particularly in quite scuffed gear. I mean, maybe I'll go for it when I've got shit hot gear from everything else, but it's years away. Um, so I'm going to have to do a lot of content, a lot of range content in particular, with Eagle Eye. Um, however... That might not be the case because they're releasing, um, or as of this moment, they're releasing uh, Desert Treasure 2 at some point, which is going to be released alongside, again, at this current time, a, a new prayer book, which is going to have a new version of Rigor, uh, in theory, a better version of Rigor, um, that I should be either able to get just for having done the quest or as a boss drop after the quest. Um, now that boss is likely to come with a pet itself. Um, however, even if it does, even if it's a you know one in three thousand, one in two and a half thousand, which is what they seem to be doing recently, it's going to be a whole different ball game in terms of grind um, to the omelet pet. So the the average pet that they seem to have released recently. So we're talking. Abyssal Protector, Temporos, um, uh, Phantom Muspa, uh, they all seem to be kind of hovering around that 100 hour range on average, um, slightly less for um, the Muspa. Um, so I can, can only imagine they'll do that again. Um, and that's totally fine. Like, that's totally palatable. The reason why the uh, Omelette is so unpalatable is it's about 500 hours on average, which is massive i mean if you go three times dry on that you're talking 1500 hours which is a year's gameplay easily just doing that and that's at like proper max efficiency 20 uh, three raids an hour um which you're gonna need you know dragon hunter lance you're gonna need uh all sorts of stuff right um that i won't have access to at least for a long time so the potential for the new prayers to revolutionize this account is actually huge um i would basically have to use them everywhere because the dps is gonna be huge so even if they do have the uh chip damage which they've got at the minute um it's still gonna be by far the best set of prayers for me um but that's kind of a game changer if 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 they release it like that because i'll i'll be so much more powerful um Aside from that, I quite like the idea of doing Theatre of Blood relatively early, actually, because if we take it for granted that I'm going to do Corrupted Gauntlet as soon as I kind of realistically can and get the Bofa and the Blade of Seldor from that, there's not too much aside from that that I need to get ahead of doing Theatre of Blood, really. I mean, I need... I would only need, I mean, uh, absolute minimum, I'd need Void Armor, which is no pet required. I'd need uh, Zenout Jewelry, again, no pet required for that. Um, and, you know, potentially some nice-to-haves would be things like the Fire Cape or the Infernal Cape, or, um, what's it, or the Primordial Boots. Um... But again, they're all they're not too bad to go and get if I actually wanted to. Um But I really like the idea of having some of the upgrades from Theory of Blood. So the rapier is is massive for quite a lot of content, particularly um Tombs of a Mascot. I'd be able to actually send expert raids relatively easily. Um as well as uh the Scythe and the Avernic and the Sanguinesti staff being being pretty huge for me as well 
Um, so I really like the idea of doing theatre relatively early. I think Chambers is probably never going to happen. Um, but if I do theatre, I also quite like the idea of doing Next and getting full Torva. Um, and why that's particularly interesting is that to get access to Nex, you need to get one kill count of every God Wars dungeon general. Um, however, for this count in particular, one kill count of a God Wars dungeon general means I have to get the pet for each God Wars dungeon general, um, which is you're looking at 5,000 kills each. Um, I mean, I would obviously get some insane rewards for that. Armadillo armor, Bando's armor, all the god swords, probably. Um, all that stuff would be massive for, for the account in general. Um, and I quite like the idea of uh, going for that in the long run. And again, it would be pretty easy um, with the Bofa. Potentially, the only other pet you'd need to get ahead of time would be the Chin Chomper one. If I was going to Chin Armadillo, which I probably would, uh, I quite like the idea of going hunting a hundred thousand black chins and then just being able to go ham at, um, at uh, Criara. Um, but yeah, let me let me know what what you guys think about that because where should I try and aim to? What should be my sort of long term goal, and how should I try and get there? Because um, I feel like what I need to do is get myself to a place where I'm pet petless, uh, like as in I'm not currently hunting a pet before Desert Treasure 2. Because I want to leave the capability there that if I need to go for a pet to get access to the prayer book, because I've got a feeling they're going to do something a bit like RuneScape 3 with like the prayer codexes. Um, so I think those codexes will probably come from um, those bosses. Um, so if that is the case, I want to be kind of petless going into that update so that I can just start on that because that's going to be so crucial for the account. If I'm going to send 5,000 Bandos KC with a, bo with a Bofa, I'm going to want good prayers to do that, right? Eagle Eye is just going to be so tedious and make it take so much longer. Um, so yeah... That's kind of my goal at the minute. Um, let me know what you think about what raid I should try and aim for, theater or TOA. Um, oh, my children are coming in. That's exciting. Um, <laughs> but I'll uh, I'll let that do for now. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let me know what you think. Right, I'm sat with both of the kids while my wife cooks dinner. We're going all 1960s in this uh, in this house today. Except uh, I work at a computer and not down a mine. So not really. Um, but, Ray! 73! 73! It's evening. Well done, Vivi. You found mum. That's what having kids is like, guys. Okay, so last night I did something quite interesting whilst I was on mobile, which was I decided to start training my agility at the monkey bar. So I only got level 41 to 46, I think, and it took a couple of hours. Um, but the XP is not too bad. It's about 12k per hour. Um, and the, uh, the, the method is actually quite easy. I basically just kind of get my thumb in the right spot with the camera angled correctly, and I can just kind of spam click. Um, which is which is fine. I can do that. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to get 50 agility at a minimum, um, and that will unlock for me uh, the rogues outfit because I can then do rogues den, um, which means that I can then get double loot from pickpocketing, and I might have to do some blackjacking because this is all the cash I've got left. <laughs> I had like over one mil after. Um, after winter Todd, and it is dwindling and quicker than I'd like. Um, and if I need to do anything kind of more proper with my money, for example, um, unlocking the uh, the Ivan staff upgrade, which is like two hundred and fifty k, or training any construction, which I do want to do as well, that's going to cost you know hundreds of k. Um, so I'm going to run out of this money quick. So I think unlocking. Um, Unlocking cash via blackjacking via getting the the the, the rogues outfit is actually worth it because um, I'd like to get seventy construction uh, because then I can create with a boost 
the spirit tree in my house. Um, and with that, because I'm nearly at the, at the level for the farming as well, um, and with that, I can then get to the farming guild really, really easily, which will be a, a quite a big game changer for me in terms of the convenience of doing the farming guild. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at at the minute. Yes! 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 Yes, we got the Rocky Pet! Oh my god! Oh, it's, it's not as such a hype reaction as the uh, as the Phoenix was, because this is way more common, but... Oh! Oh, I'm so glad to have that done! Yes! Oh, one, uh, just over 1 mil XP! Oh my god! Here we are! Rocky Pet, oh, that has put the cat amongst the pigeons, hasn't it? With regards to um, what we're going to do next. Oh, my God. Yes, we got it. We got it. Right, I think that's probably a logical place to finish then, isn't it? Um, we got the pet that we wanted. We got it at level 73, 1,013,000 XP. Um, it was about 24,000 rolls for the pet, uh, which is what we did, and the rate was 1 in 35,000, so again, we got slightly lucky, uh, probably about two-thirds of the rate. I think that's probably about where we were with uh, the Phoenix as well, so two two-thirds of rate pets in, which is very nice. Um, and yeah, we're going to move on to the next one, um, and as discussed earlier in the video, we're going to be leaning on the channel members... Uh, of which there are currently, at the time of me speaking, zero. So if you really want to uh, impact the uh, outcome of the next video, um, make sure to do that. Um, but yeah, we're going to be picking a new, a new pet to go for. Whether that's a skill or a boss, not yet decided. It's probably going to have to be a skill um, if Corrupted Gauntlet is going to remain the sort of medium term goal. Um, but yeah, another, uh, another skill permanently unlocked, uh, with Rocky, which is nice, and I can now probably start, I'm gonna get that 50 agility that I described earlier, and, um, and get the rogue's outfit, because I'm gonna need some cash at some point, um, but 73 is a nice base to start my thieving from, um, and yeah, successful episode, so, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time.